We are back at the Golden Arches, folks. The egg white delight. I didn't know they put cheese on this. And you guys should also know by now, hash browns, and the griddle. So let's just say I'm a little over the same boring oatmeal, protein powder, strawberries. Yeah, just eating the same thing every single day. So it's Friday and I kind of want to spice things up a little bit. We are back at the Golden Arches, folks. We are back. How are you doing today? Pretty good, how about you? Good. You have all day breakfast? We sure do. Sweet. Uh, can I get one sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle, please? You had something like an egg white McMuffin? Uh, can I get one of those, please? A uh, yogurt parfait? Uh, how much is it for just uh, hash browns? About 139. Uh, four of those, please. Uh, let me actually get, let me get two hash browns instead, sorry. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, can I have a cup of water, too? Yeah. Thanks a lot, man. Take day. it easy. Alrighty guys, so what do we got here? Incredible recipes, extraordinary sandwiches. Definitely did not get any of that, but we have delicious hash browns. Another thing very special to me, sausage and egg McGriddle. And we gotta be healthy too here guys, come on. Egg white delight, ah yes. Yogurt parfait guys, yogurt parfait. We got our granola too. I'm definitely not feeling like eating in a 95 degree car right now. Then again, I do have a sweatshirt on. Well guys, let me just say, I kind of just wanted to do things a little bit differently today. Uh, I don't normally eat like this at all, but I definitely, uh, I don't know, for whatever reason, I've just been feeling extra hungry lately, and uh, I haven't had McDonald's in a little over three weeks. <laughs> I've said many, many times I have to really eat high volume foods, oatmeal, fruit, vegetables, the whole deal. I'm not gonna be doing 20,000 calories of fast food, but I just figured I would change things up and just do something that wasn't oatmeal, apples, and whey protein for breakfast. I don't usually eat this early. It's actually 12 in the afternoon right now, so I usually have my first meal at around 1, 1.30. Right now, I'm just kind of going with where my stomach tells me to go, and uh, I'm kind of hungry. You guys know we gotta start off with a favorite, the McGriddle. Boom, the money shot. I'm having such a hard time not saying, not bad. Even though it's not bad, it's delicious. You guys already know, come on. Now surprisingly, I do still have these leftover cinnamon toast crunch treat bars, whatever, probably have some of those. And all this was, this is like 15 bucks for an egg white sandwich, McGriddles, yogurt, and two hash browns, crazy. Snapchat crew, what up? Oh yeah guys, follow me on Snapchat if you haven't already. The link is down below. I'm trying to pinpoint it, but yeah, my hunger has been through the roof lately and it's like crazy. Probably not the best thing to be eating when my hunger's through the roof. And you guys should also know by now, hash browns. It is so hard to pick a favorite at McDonald's. They can't be number one, but McGriddles can't be number one either. It's just so hard. You guys get it. Money. That's how we really eat the hash browns, come on. How could I forget my ketchup? This is crazy. Yeah, I guess we're out of ketchup. Oh, well. Now I did get some questions on my social media because I haven't done a Q and A in quite some time. So what's your favorite food associated with peanut butter? Reese's peanut butter cups. There's no questions. Do you think you should build muscle by bulking and cutting or just on maintenance calories? It's gonna be generally pretty hard to build muscle on maintenance calories because you need to be in a caloric surplus in order to build muscle. There are a few exceptions to this, but it's very, very hard. Long story short, you should really pick a goal, either bulk or cut. Unless you're a beginner or you're on the sauce, just pick a goal and stick with it. How long have you been riding and what is the best way to build up leg muscle for bike riding? The best way to build up leg muscle is by squatting heavy and deadlifting heavy. You're not gonna build any muscle in your legs if you are riding a bike, really. Uh, that's not a way to build muscle. It's great for conditioning and everything, but you're definitely gonna see more benefit with actual resistance training. What is your opinion on running and the benefits it brings to the body? There are no benefits running brings to the body, other than pain to your knees.
the egg white delight. I didn't know they put cheese on this. Yeah, looks somewhat good. Man. Yeah, not terrible. What is the one goal you aim to achieve for the rest of 2017? I want to get a career path for myself. I want to get a goal about where I want to be professionally. Just because I needed to really focus on graduating, I didn't really think about that too much. Honestly, right now as a communications, previous communications major, now I need to figure out what I want to do with my degree. For like a fun goal, I really want to travel. The first thing I'm going to do is travel across the country. I'm going to travel across the United States, but I don't know when that's actually going to be because my lease does end here at my apartment very soon, so I need to really watch that. That looks wicked good. Like, it's like my favorite from there. That's why you guys gotta be on Snapchat. You guys get the first look. I kind of regret buying these. I mean, they were really, really good like the first two times I had them, but afterwards they're kind of just like, eh. If you could name a cereal, what would you name it? That's a really, really good question. <laughs> if I could name a cereal anything, what would I name it? Frosted Eric Wheats. What are three albums you would listen to for the rest of your life? City of Evil by Eventually Unfold, Shogun by Trivium, and Black Album by Metallica. Tips for the 10,000 calorie challenge. Prepare your anus. No, but really though, calorie challenges and all that, it's really just finding the right types of foods. I tell people this all the time when they ask me for advice about calorie challenges. It really just boils down to not loading yourself with sodium and a lot of fat because that will bog you down when you do do it and you're gonna feel like garbage the next day. Oh, and hydration is key. Any idea on how to exactly calculate your macros since I'm actually coming from the really crappy metabolism arena because of crash diets? You want to look into a term called reverse dieting. That's going to be great. For the most part, everybody has different macros and macro needs. You can go to any sort of calculator. It's going to spit you out a number and tell you an estimation of what you need. But the only real way to calculate your macros is to eat at a set amount of macros and gauge things based on how much weight you've gained or lost over a period of time. Who is your biggest idol? Your mother. Ooh, got him. Uh, my biggest idol is probably Donald Trump. <laughs> just definitely just kidding there. Oh man. Lance Armstrong? <laughs> I'm still kidding. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. Matt Stoney, you're my idol for this video. How about that? Yoga parfaits are like ice cream, I feel like. It's not even like you're eating anything that's remotely healthy at all. If you believe in actually calling things healthy. What you guys should do though right now is give this video a thumbs up if you're liking the whole format of this and if you just like these day of eating videos, I do these occasionally and I've been doing them actually more and more recently, but let me know if you guys like them and if you wanna see more of them, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget the granola. If you could choose one thing, what would it be cycling or powerlifting? Right now, because I don't have the desire to uh, ride a bike, I'm just gonna say powerlifting because I can pretty much just get chubby and uh, strong at the same time. Best of both worlds, right? Well guys, since my uh, camera's about to run out of battery, I'll see you guys in a little bit. few moments later 2000 years later <laughs> Thank you.
Holy crap. That was insane. 125 pounds for five reps. That is a PR for me. Now, last week I did do 125 pounds for three reps and push press the last two reps. I'm just super happy with my strength progression, especially on my overhead press. I'm really excited about that. I've done absolutely no cardio over the past few days. So that's pretty much why I'm able to gain strength. When I limit my cardio, my strength gains, they go up. Generally speaking, I feel better. I do recommend for people though, to get at least 20 to 30 minutes of some sort of cardio every single day. So that's why I've been taking it upon myself to do stuff that's not normal. For example, I went and played a few pickup games at basketball afterwards and i've been doing that more often and it's actually really fun now guys i am going to go home and do some editing to you guys all right guys so of course i had to go to the store and get some stuff so i got more rice cakes right here i had to get some more of those and then i'm going to be doing some squid tonight now you guys know this is by far one of my favorite things to make uh, i always really like making squid so i'm going to do some squid and probably bake it or grill it and then I had to get some more egg whites right there, cauliflower and the usual here, diet cherry 7-up tonight. And then frozen berries, not strawberries, just like a mixed berry mix. Celery to go with my peanut butter, cashew milk, vanilla, and then some more ketchup, reduced sugar, of course. And then I saw this, and you know what, guys? I do enjoy peanut butter as well, but I like making, or... I should say, I like putting this in my oatmeal. It's a good contrast and I don't know, it just mixes better and tastes better to me. So I like that and this also works way better with baking. So I got some more of that. And this is like a just general peanut flour or yeah, I guess you can just call it peanut flour. Macros on it are pretty solid if you guys can see right there for the most part. Can't really see. A gram and a half of fat, 50 calories, so not bad. Good alternative to peanut butter, but it is by no means nothing compared to peanut butter. And then we need to get some bok choy and like mushrooms. I'm gonna probably do like a saute with that. And then last but not least, some cabbage, because guess what's gonna happen? We're gonna be making a salad. <laughs> That's what I got at the store, guys. I'll see you in the next part of the video. Oh yeah, and by the way, guys, pro tip. I do this every single time. When I get groceries, at least. Take all your lids off and throw them away. Trust me, it'll save you a bunch of time. Thank me later. 12 seconds later. Moments later. So we got some questions. How much do you spend a week on food? Greetings from Peru. Uh, so right now I probably spend about 100 to, I'd say about 125 to $150 a week on food. When it comes to spending money on food, I, guys, I love food too much to skimp there. Why did you shave your beard? It doesn't look bad though. I didn't really shave my beard. I mean, I still have kind of a stubble going. Uh, I don't know. Apparently I never even had a beard according to most of the overly masculine males in my YouTube comment section. I kind of just want a little change of pace, I guess. When and what is your next food challenge? No idea right now. Just kind of still trying to recover from eating 68,000 calories worth of food a little over three weeks ago. Could you do 80,000 calories? People just want more and more and more. And more. Do you have a girlfriend? Are you a sweet or savory kind of guy? Love the videos, keep up the great work. I'm both sweet and savory. I don't discriminate. Have you ever considered doing a food challenge on a live stream? I actually have done many food challenges on live streams. Some of my newer subscribers haven't really seen them, but yes, I have. What is one thing you are terrible at? One thing I'm terrible at is change. I know that's a very vague way to answer that question, but I'm just bad at changing up my daily routine and a lot of stuff about my life. How did you build your resistance on the spin bike? I've been dying when I try and it's been a year. Usually I just crank up the wheel and resistance kind of just goes up. Uh, no, but really though, I mean, it's, with things like that, you have to really, I guess, know what you're doing on the spin bike, know how to properly program. And also you need to know how to balance weight training off the bike as well. That's going to, I mean, if you want to get stronger overall, you have to do things other than spin. Hi, Eric. My name is Katarina, and I'm wondering if you would ever consider being a vegetarian. So, great question, Katarina. I actually have a pretty much vegetarian style diet. I eat meat usually once a day or every other day, and most of my diet is actually plant-based for the most part. It's gonna sound kind of weird, but a lot of my newer subscribers, again, 
don't really know that. So. What's up, Eric? What is the craziest or weirdest thing that you ever seen while cycling? I saw... <laughs> The weirdest thing though, overall, I was actually riding with another guy and I actually saw a guy peeing outside of his window trying to hit another cyclist. Fortunately, I did see a male anatomy. It wasn't the greatest thing to see after riding for four hours, but yeah. What is something that you're proud of yourself for, but that you don't really get to talk about a lot in everyday life? Great question. So this is by Darth Heater. Uh, create username on snapchat. I would say the thing I'm most proud of that I don't get to talk about in my daily life I really want to talk about recovery a lot more on my channel. I don't really get to talk about it a lot Yeah, getting through a really hard time in my life 2013 uh, Well, I should say 2012 was a very hard point in my life because I had to go away if you guys haven't caught my recovery story um, I did have to go away to treatment for anorexia and for um, uh, an eating disorder back then, and it was very, very hard for me. It was a very traumatic part of my life. It was a part of my life that I don't get to talk about a lot. And I almost died, and uh, I was on my, what I thought was my deathbed during that point. And to be able to make it through something like that and come out alive and kicking is really, I mean, it makes you realize a lot about yourself. And um, thankfully for me, I was able to do just that. I don't know if it's gonna be anytime soon, but eventually I wanna be able to, to go around and talk a lot more about that. And eventually I wanna write my own book, which is a big goal of mine, so yeah. Some squid, some cabbage, and some rice. Fast food is kind of just fast food. I told you guys many times that I don't really crave these things. I mean, they do taste good, but vegetables and quote unquote healthy food, it's just more of a staple for me. Despite what people in the comment section like to uh, believe and think, I don't know, whatever. Finally nailed this rice. I need to buy like four more boxes of this stuff. It's amazing. Well, it's about 10.30. It's about that time to go to sleep. Good thing we have Oreos. Tips on weight slash fat loss. Interesting question. I typically recommend just to eat less and move more. No, but really though, I actually usually recommend to people, especially my clients, don't think about it in terms of weight loss. Think about it in terms of fat loss because Anybody can lose weight. You can go and weigh yourself every single morning if you want and get upset if the scale isn't what you want it to be, which is actually usually the case. Because weight loss can really be skewed by glycogen storage. It can be skewed by how much water weight you've lost. It can be skewed by so many different things. For me personally, it's skewed by how much food I actually take in on a daily basis and actual liquid I take in. I can lose slash gain about 10 to 12 pounds on any given day. So that's just something to take into consideration. But think about it in terms of fat loss, not weight loss. Moving more does help though. What's your favorite cereal and why? Right now? Do I have any to say? How often do you drink protein shakes or have protein powder? I'd say protein shakes I probably have about once per day. Whey protein, protein powder is essentially just processed fast food. Try to minimize it as much as you can. Even though I'm eating processed fast food in this video, balance and moderation guys, balance and moderation. Are you kidding me? There's no one left. Well, that went fast. That's like a new record for me. Guess I will have to be going back to the store tomorrow. Or Walmart, ugh. How's the cereal? I'm jealous. It's terrible, absolutely terrible. Just kidding. Favorite kind of sushi? Uh, eel, by far. Eel is the best kind of sushi. Will Harold move with you? Indeed, Harold will move with me. How is your diet coming? What is your plans for the future training, cycling, nutrition? Hope you're doing well and fix your health issues. Thank you very much. Um, my diet is coming along pretty well. I'm pretty much in a mode right now where I'm just essentially fueling my lifting and it feels really, really good to actually just go to the gym and not focus on cardio, not focus on anything else just besides lifting heavy weight. And I feel like I haven't really been in this phase for a few years now. So to be able to focus on one thing is actually awesome. If you could choose to live on either cereal or peanut butter, what would you choose? Bro, you know that's a question I can't answer. I'm just gonna say both. Do you find if guys do their eyebrows that is weird or not? Have you seen the shit that I do? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I think I've had enough of the questions, guys. Everyone, this has been, I guess, another full day of eating. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Definitely let me know down in the comments below. Again, if you do love these and want to see more of them, I definitely have some good ideas for the future ones. If you guys haven't already, check me out on Patreon. It's a great way for you guys to support us YouTube creators that do take time out of their day and put a lot of effort into making videos. Follow me on my social media if you haven't already. Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. 
you know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video, guys, and... Go right ahead.